Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Got a few things here today. Um, just uh, gonna go over some of this moon footage, um, some anomalies, and just a daytime moon. I'm gonna take a look at it, see what it looks like. I guess you guys probably heard the new scientific information. The moon is inside Earth's atmosphere. Well, who would have thunk it? I've been saying it's local all along. Let me say it again. The moon is inside Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, I got an illustration here. Check it out. Yeah, NASA supposedly discovered this uh, new scientific information in 1996 to 1998. And uh, so they're just now getting around to telling folks about it. So isn't that interesting? Yeah. The moon is inside Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, well, we all see how close it is. They're not telling us the truth about that, so I don't know what they're telling the truth about, but uh, I believe they're telling, this is maybe one of the things they're actually telling the truth about, but why do they wait 20 years to, you know, let the information out? That's, that's just kind of weird. Oh, check this out. Um, these were some pretty wicked looking clouds. Just wait, it gets better. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a apply a hot spot filter on this thing and, and it looks pretty wicked but that's pretty bizarre right there look at that oh wow there it is see hey for you newer subscribers I have a second channel that I produce content for um, it's got some exclusive stuff on it that you can't find on this channel but a lot of it is my best clips that I have uh, um, put together with the music pieces, you know, more artistic and uh, I mean there's some interesting stuff over there I'm proud of the work that I do over there. So if you guys want to check it out I'm gonna leave the link in the description frame rate of reality Hey, yes, look at here. Ooh That big old face up there looks like a dog sticking his tongue out or something. You probably didn't see that but He's up there. Look like it Yeah, there's so many images in this. Look at these triangles right here. Oh look, yeah, there's two triangles. Look at this funnel coming down. There's a triangle. See, look, it looks like a portal. The cloud sticking down. It's got a black hole down in the bottom there. And there's a triangle just to the right of it, kind of wedged in there. There's a little bitty one up to its upper left, too. Like, yeah, see it, see it, look, right above. It's in the tube. The tube coming down right at the top right. There's a little bitty triangle there. It's just it's at the left point of the big triangle it looks like an arrowhead you know there's an outline of it so if I'd have worked on that longer I could have brought that out but I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it there it is inverted uh, see isn't that strange do you see that watch it's I slowed it down see it well I'm gonna slow it down again there it is right one more time and there she goes I mean that could have been a bird it didn't look like a bird but you know flow pretty straight but whatever I just catch flying stuff all the time, you know, when I slow these videos down like I didn't even see it until um, until I inverted it, that one, and then, yeah, and then of course this thing was up there, you know, and I thought I'd take a look at it, because I have a plane on the end that's kind of, well, I question it, it's suspicious, but this one here, it's, it's pretty much on the level, I think. So we'll scoot on past it. Now back to the daytime moon here. We don't have, this is a different day. We're like the following day, I believe. So this is, a, well, maybe it wasn't the following day according to that uh, Terminator line. Anyway, it was it was within days. Let's just put it that way. But man, sometimes these Terminator lines are just wacky, you know? Um, it didn't used to be that way, you know? And this daytime moon, um everybody i've talked to they 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 don't remember a daytime moon as there was a kid and it's such a strange thing because i don't neither but then there's that vague memory it's like well maybe once or twice i've seen it out during the day you know but overall no we didn't have this regular because when i see it in the daytime now it that's it's like wow look at that you know but that's one of the reasons them the moon interests me so much it's it's mysterious it's like what is going on with that thing you know it's self-illuminated you know i get comments a lot of times people saying that the sun's reflecting off of it and i know that's what we've been taught you know growing up and stuff but um i don't believe that because 
if you get out there and you watch it, shoot it and stuff, you you know, you, there's proof on my videos. I don't talk about it, but look at there. I'll go back in on, on one more time. Yeah, there's proof on my videos. I don't point it out, but you can tell by the tar the phase of the moon. Where Look where the sun's at. Like, for example, the sun will be setting, the moon will be above it, yet the wrong side will be uh, lit up. You know what I mean? It's like, well, the sun should be over there on the left side of it, you know? So, I mean, it's obvious to, to me anyway, and it's my opinion, and, you know, uh, that it's, it's its own light, you know? It's, uh, that's what I believe, and I believe it's close. I believe it's inside the, the firmament, um, dome, whatever you want to call it, you know? The shadows are tricky and, you know, it makes it look like things, you know, images like on that one video, it looks like a spaceship. Of course, the key word is it looks like, you know? Hey, while I'm thinking about it, um, I just had to resubscribe to Donnie of Daytona and this is like the fourth one in the last couple of weeks that, that uh, I was subscribed to and somehow or another I was unsubscribed. Um, it's been happening a lot lately, so you guys might want to check and make sure you're still subscribed to, to this channel. I mean, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, you guys heard, I guess, about the mud floods. Well, that's really picking up some steam. Uh, if you hadn't heard about it, just uh, type it in the search bar there and mud floods and uh, check it out. It's like, you know, history being uncovered, <laughs> new history. It's, uh, you know, they've been hiding this stuff from us all this time, or is this like a different reality? I don't know. You know what, too, is those uh, those white dots in the middle of those craters? Those is, uh, that's interesting. And you notice, I tell you what it looks like. It looks like if you boil mud, how it, you know, it does that, you know what I mean? When you, mud boils, it makes those funky. That's what this looks like. It looks like boiling mud or, or something to that, you know, effect. But not meteorites. If it's scraping the thing all up it would look like a mess it would you know it wouldn't just be dotted like that i'm about done we about got it wrapped up a couple more minutes hang with me oh yeah this is the uh super blood wolf moon whatever you call it it's got so many names can't even keep up with it but this is it the, the green tint was the, the, the there was nothing changed on the camera that green tint was like what why is it just? but anyway here it is with the still shots this is a time lapse actually all of these coming up but these pictures i had forgot these were on this camera on this p1000 and uh, when i did the last video i threw some of the or the one prior actually i threw some uh, time lapses of the moon eclipse the you know wolf blood super moon and uh, I, if i'd have had these to throw in there i could have made a more you know complete i forgot about them anyway there they were but uh, check this out y'all i left some of the original audio in here but Look, that's not the sun, but it sure looks like it. The sun's already went down. Here's, I'll tell you what I think it is, or what it looks to be. I don't know. I mean, is that the sun? Yeah, that beam. The sun has got to be shining up and hitting some kind of chem cloud toxic cocktail soup mix of some I think sort. The sun's already went down. It has. But that light right there and look see that's not the sun the sun has already went down the horizon so that's the first time I've seen that phenomenon right there see it's not the sun but it's lit up like you, you would think it's the sun yeah it's kind of cool looking though but hey I didn't touch any of the colors on this this is a time lapse check it out the, the sun said that's that same one it was a time lapse of that beam. Look here at this face. <laughs> I highlighted there. Okay, and check out. See that triangle, the stars? That's pretty neat. Um, this is that plane. I don't know, you guys. I don't know about this. The tail looks weird. The, the wings look like they're way too far back. And the camera doesn't want to let me focus on it. I, I clipped a lot of the stuff out. See right there where that's where I spliced it together because yeah and there again because it would keep uh and i tried to use the the manual focus on it and this is the best it would get right here that 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 seemed to be perfectly in focus you know according to the camera yet yeah, i should be able to read fedex on that thing i can't believe the tail on this thing and the wings i mean i don't know this one i'm suspicious of this one i don't know it could be genuine but it, you know it's one of them that 
make some little flags pop up. You know, say, wait, what? You know? Hey, that's it for now. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all take care.